favorite White House press secretary. That's right. The one who constantly kept lying for Biden doesn't like questions about the Biden cognitive cover-up. And this video here is five minutes of pure gold. What is this, professionalism? The Biden-Harris administration, or what remains of the Biden-Harris administration, doesn't know the meaning of professionalism. It's an anathema to them. They wouldn't know professionalism even if it bit them right up the wazoo. Or even went right up their wazoo. Who knows? But this is by far absolute, pure, 100% gold. Pure gold. For somebody like me, I love it. Because Democrats especially for the rest of the campaign cycle. I wonder how you're going to lie about Kamala's record. But first, let's talk about the lie that was being done to cover up Biden's cognitive decline. How are you doing with all of this? <laughs> you care about how I feel? Are you going to stick around for a potential? No, I don't care how you feel. And neither does my audience. President Harris. Oh, my goodness. Let me just get through the day. Can I just get through today? Uh, I Every other question. <laughs> no, I think that's good. I think we're good. I think we're good. How are you doing? Are you I'm good? doing okay. Thank yeah. you. Behold, in all its glory, the press, the press of these United States. How are you doing? My morning was starting off great. I haven't seen you in a while. Ooh. Well, uh, you guys haven't had a press briefing since <laughs> President Biden dropped out of the race. So. The president hasn't been here. He just got here yesterday. And now I'm here taking your questions. Thank you. I, no, Keep, I've, and I've taken about three or four at this point from you. Alone. Well, it, it would seem that people in this White House knew that President Biden was slipping. <laughs> and it was hidden from the American people. So who ordered White House officials to cover up a declining president. I know that the, that is a narrative that you love and uh, well, to no 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 wait hold on. He did a press conference hold at NATO. On. I'm in it. There's all these things hold that I need on. to finish, and then ten days later, I'm dropping out. Okay, wait, okay, you're asking. Yeah, l lady, lady, lady. See, uh, what have I said about lies and lying liars who like to lie? They have to come up with another lie to make you ignore the lie that's been revealed. They can't tell the truth to save their lives. They can't do it. If you're going to tell a lie, you better be consistent about it. And you better make sure, you better make sure that should said lie get revealed, you have some way to counter it, right? But here's the thing. It's impossible to do with a lie because once a lie is out there, who is going to believe you anymore? Asking me like two multiple questions here. Let me, wait, wait. First of all, there's been no cover up. Want to be very clear about that. I know that's the narrative that you all want. Wait, no, no, no. You can't. Well, <laughs> okay. I've been, with, I've been with President Biden for five Are years. Are you going to let me answer the question? Would you at least admit that the debate I, was not I, just I, I, Wait, can, can I answer the question? Yes. All right. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. To your first question, it is not a cover-up. I know that is the narrative that you all want. It is not. <clears throat> I'm going to say this again. And you're, you're going to hear directly from the press. I hope you listen tonight. I think it's going to be incredibly powerful and important. The Oval Office presidents, as you know, when they make speeches from the Oval Office, it's because there are important moments that they want to directly uh, make sure that the American people hear from them. And it's obviously going to be done in prime time. I would listen to the president. And then what I will say is that it is not easy making a decision that the president made on you could tell she's angry by the way she's pounding her fists. You know, if she was calm and collective, she wouldn't be doing that. She's signaling that she's upset. She's signaling that she's stressed and that maybe this job is just too much for her. On Sunday. It is just not. It is not. And as all you have you all reported, it is historic. It is unusual. This is not the norm. And making a decision like that for someone who has been in public service for 54 years, U.S. Senator for 36, President to uh, Vice President to President Obama for eight, and now a first term as president himself. These are not easy decisions to make. They're just not. And so the fact that he was able to make that decision in a selfless way, that's admirable. One of the decisions There's nothing admirable about it. 
I remember throughout this entire election cycle, and even before then, Biden was constantly being protected by corporate media and the Democrats as being a viable strong bull. But turns out he was an old dog that no longer had any teeth in him. He was an old dog that just wanted to be put out back. And I remember, especially when 2024 started, when the campaign trails was starting to just get lined up and ready to go for people to walk on them. Biden was saying that he was fit and ready, fit and ready, fit and ready, that he was fresh and fit. Well, Biden wasn't fresh because that diaper was full of crap. And he was nowhere near fit mentally, emotionally, physically, psychologically, none of that. And yet the White House propped up that lie. Why would he drop out if he was A-OK when he wasn't? He made President Biden wants Vice President Harris to be the standard bearer of the party now. Does she still want to get rid of ICE? You have seen what this administration has been able to do in the past three and a half years. And they did that with... Uh, the vice president as a partner in that. And Republicans got in the way. The president went around Republicans and was able to get thousands of personnel at the border. And now we are seeing a 50% drop at the border. And that's because of what this president has done. As a partner, though, she's been in charge of root causes of migration for years. She has never spoken to the Border Patrol Chief Jason Owens or the Border Pat Patrol Chief before him, Raul Ortiz. What should that tell us about her leadership style? She was supposed to be doing root causes dealing with diplomacy. <laughs> That's all you got? Shit, you might as well have said there is no war in Ba Sing Se. That's all you got? Oh, White House Press Secretary Lady. Oh, hold on. We're rewinding that. Oh, liberals, liberals, listen, 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 listen. If Trump wins, please try not to have a meltdown. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try not to laugh too loud. You know, I'm going to be covering the election night. I have to make a promise to myself. Kit, don't get too drunk. Don't get too high. Because I am going to be laughing at so many people crying. I, I mean, I, I hope I see that. Hold on. What, what, what's the lie again? Though she's been in charge of root causes of migration for years. She has never spoken to the Border Patrol Chief Jason Owens or the Border Patr Patrol Chief before him, Raul Ortiz. What should that tell us about her leadership style? She was supposed to be doing root causes dealing with diplomacy. And diplomacy. Wait, involved. diplomacy. That's what her job was supposed to be. Well, should you talk to at least the guys in charge of the border? Because, I mean, they do play a role in diplomacy. But then again, what what, what do I know? Oh, she, you got you to vote for Kamala because she knows how to be a leader. Hi, we're the you know, head of border security and uh, we haven't seen her. You guys are racist and misogynist. How dare you not see Kamala leading the way to diplomacy? To be Dipl diplomatic. That's the job. And it, I, I understand that you're asking these questions, but we should also look at congressional Republicans who got in the way, literally got in the way of everything that this president was trying to do to deal with the border. They got in the way. They would say one thing and then they would change their mind. They would say, we want border patrol. We want, uh, uh, you know, we want a deal on, on what's happening at the border. And then they would walk away from it. And they did it because of what the former president said. You guys reported that. I didn't, that's not coming from me. Some of your colleagues reported that the former. Hey, how dare you tell the truth? You know, you know, listen, Kamala was just hanging out with the boys and the boys were just being boys. And they were all talking about diplomacy. God almighty. She, she cannot tell the truth to save her life. Former president said, let's not move forward with this proposal because it's going to help Joe Biden. I mean, that's also the reality. You got to talk about both sides here. Good. I, I, Great. This is, uh, I, 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 get, I, get, I get that you're not going to give us. I, I get you that might you have to hold the okay. Yeah. No, go ahead, Peter. Fine. One more. Unbelievable. I get that you don't. Oh, okay. Okay. For the guy in back. Listen, uh, you control the briefing, not Peter. Huh? 
Listen, people are tired of being lied to, okay? It's the one time I'm actually ruined for the press to actually do its freaking job here. Oh, we want to get to see you too, James. A specific name, but were there any names that came forward that surprised you of Democratic officials in the last week who stabbed President Biden in the back? I don't have anything else to say. Go ahead, April. Oh, she's so perturbed and angry. But here's the thing. Here's the thing, folks. We're going to we're we're, we're going to time travel. We're going to go back in time. No, we can't change the world and no, we can't save Aurelian. I wish we could. That's the one thing I'd change if I go back in time. Hey, Aurelian, look out, man. Your Praetorian guard will, will stab you in the back. But we're going to time travel to July 8th of 2024 when it was revealed how Biden, because again, earlier on that previous video, this video that I have right up here, was brought up about Biden's cognitive decline and how the White House covered it up. Well, if we look at July 8th of this year, where the White House press secretary was denying or ease of that trying to make excuse why a Parkinson uh, doctor, an expert, was visiting the White House. We provide to all the That's a very basic direct question. <laughs> now, now, again, this video is from July 8th of this month, of this year. Hold on, wait, 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 wait a second. Eight wait. times, or at least once, in regards to I just, the president wait. specifically. Hold on a second. Now, you should be able to answer by this. Wait, no, 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 wait a minute, Come, Ed, please, a little respect here, please. So every year around the, the president's physical examination, he sees a neurologist. That's three times, right? So I am telling you that he has seen a neurologist three times while he has been in this presidency. That's what I'm saying. I am telling you that he has seen them three times. That is what I'm sharing with you, right? So every time he has a physical, he has had to see a neurologist. So that is answering that question. No, it's not. no it is. It yes, is. You're Dr. asking Kevin me. Kennard, come I to cannot, the White House. But I just, and I also said to you, condition. Ed, I also said to you, for security reasons, we cannot share names. We cannot share names. We have to, we have to. Others he would have met with. We cannot can share names. No, 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 no. Don't you see the running theme here? They can't tell the truth. They cannot tell the truth. They cannot tell the truth. This was the beginning of their lies starting to crumble. So the fact that the press finally realized, hey, wait a minute, let's look at who are who's visiting the White House. A Parkinson director, or not doctor, sorry. Why, see, I'm getting secondhand Joe Mencia from this now. No, if we, someone came here no, in we to cannot the share. We cannot share names of specialists broadly it, from a dermatologist to a neurologist we cannot share names there are security reasons we have to we have to protect uh, i understand that i i, I, I hear you right I, there for anyone to see ed i hear you i cannot from here confirm any of that because we have to keep their privacy i think they would appreciate that too we have oh, to give them the the doctor we <laughs> have to keep their privacy it is public I, information. I, I, I it hear you. That he I, I, guys, 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 hold questions. on a second. There's no reason to get back and go back and forth well, and be in this aggressive way. We missed around here about how information has been shared with the press corps around here. What do you missed about? Oh, oh. What do you miss about? Everything he just asked about. And, what do you, and then every time I come. And this is how also you can read an emotionally unhinged person. They get angry really quick, especially when their lie is being revealed because she has to defend Joe Biden. And when you have Biden exhibiting signs, especially way early on before he dropped out of the race, when he's exhibiting signs of dementia, when he's exhibiting signs of being forgetful, when he's showing his own body falling apart in real time before all of us, because that's what's wrong with Joe Biden. Everything is failing on him. He is, he is now officially, dare I say it, out of commission. And yet the White House press secretary, always throughout these three and a half years, she built her whole career and made it her job to lie to the American people and to the American press. Come back and I answer the question and that you, you guys asked. Correctly, you didn't have to come back and clean I up never answered answer the question incorrectly. That is not true. I was asked about a medical exam. I was asked about a physical. That was in the line of question that I answered. And I said, no, he did not have a medical exam. And I still stand that by that. Matter of fact, the president still stands by that. He had a verbal check-in. That is something that the president has a couple times a week. A couple times a week. Now in regards to Dr. Kevin Kennard. And I am telling you right now 
that I am not sharing confirming names from here. It is a security reasons. I am not going to do that, Ed. It doesn't matter how hard you push me. It doesn't matter how angry you get with me. I'm not going to confirm a name. It doesn't matter if it's even in the log. I am not going to do that from here. That is not something I am going to do. Uh, it's actually, it's your job. You're supposed to confirm things to the American people, especially when Biden clearly is, you know, Sometimes I open up the history books and I read about these tyrants and emperors and these leaders that go mad, that go crazy. You know, some of it is because of advanced age. They've been on the throne for far too long. Others, it's just like, hey, they were really crazy or very mentally disturbed people. You know, I always wonder, like, how is it that all the other officials, the bureaucrats, the senators, the lords, the advisors and even the people, how did they let this happen? There's no way, and this would never happen in this day and age, this modern era of ours. But the answer is yes, it is happening in real time. So many people are defending somebody, two people, to be more precise, Biden and Kamala, who are not fit for the highest office of the land. And we wonder why empires fall. We wonder why civilizations collapse. It's stuff like this. And when you protect a system that's so corrupt, does it come not as a surprise why people are comparing the United States to the Roman Empire? We have corrupt politicians. We have unending war. And we have an empire. And it's falling right before us. And yet this, this right here, should be a clear sign to the people, especially liberals, you got to wake up. And the same thing applies even to conservative voters too. Wake up. Wake up. You're being lied to. I dread to think that many years in the future, who, who knows? Maybe humanity makes it off this planet. We build us, uh, you know, we, we colonize other worlds. But why is it? And I have this horrible pit in my stomach. When they open up the books of U.S. history and they think, gee, how come those modern people, or at least somewhat modern people, because they'll be more advanced than we are. How come, how come they didn't stop this madness? Before it was too late. And they'll look back at us and laugh at us because we had, what, a senile old goat and a, and, and, and a vice president who's clearly not mentally fit for the job because he constantly keeps on laughing. How, how is it they got in there? It's because of lies. Lies, weakness, corruption being facilitated just by people like this. What I can share with you is that the president has seen a neurologist for his physical three times. Three times. And it is in the reporting that we share a comprehensive reporting. Matter, matter of fact, it's more than what the last guy shared. And it is in line with what George, George W. Bush did. It's in line with what Obama did. And so it is comprehensive. It is out there. I just read a quote from it. But I am not, I am not going to devolve somebody's name and, or confirm someone. I'm not going to do that. That is as is privacy for that person. I'm not going to do that. It doesn't matter how hard you push me. It doesn't matter how angry you get with me from here. I'm just not going to do that. It is inappropriate and it's not acceptable. Ah, uh, how, how dare you? How dare you expose the truth? How dare you show my hypocrisy? How dare you? How simply dare you, sir? One video from July 8th. Another video from today each showing the incompetency of this administration. This administration purposely lied to the American people about the mental fitness of Joe Biden. And they covered it up. But the thing is, White House, Biden-Harris administration officials, vote blue no matter who people, and yes, even you, corporate media, you didn't hide it. Everybody knew about it. Everybody talked about it. Everybody pointed it out. And you called us conspiracy theorists. What legit, what real legitimacy do you have? And I don't want to hear about all this, but we have to stop Trump. We have to stop Trump. We have to stop Trump. With all this corruption and all these lies, does it come as not a surprise why a person like Donald Trump came into existence? Does it come not a surprise why Americans don't trust our institutions? The real truth is this, and I'm going to end this with my favorite Logan Roy quote to his kids before he, no, I don't want to spoil it anyways. Succession such a great show. But vote blue no matter who, 
Democrats, I love you. No, I don't. But you are not serious people. A system of lies. They can't tell the truth to save their lives.